The last question is the advanced trigonometric question. We have some kind of a triangular layout and uh, the data that are given are sine of alpha, that's this uh, angle here, sine of beta, which is the angle here, and the length of C. The question is about the length marked with this bold line here. It's uh, a question mark here. I will replace it by x. So we are looking for x. We also have a hint here. This is a universal hint for any trigonometrical type of, uh, of questions. Find, in this case, two right triangles in the picture. We have the right triangle here and obviously this is triangle number one and this is triangle number two. A common mistake done by uh, some students in uh, the previous years were trying to apply trigonometrical functions to this triangle here. This triangle is not a right triangle and uh, traditional, traditional uh, formulas for sine and cosine will simply not work. Looking at the data we have, we have the values of sine of uh, these two angles, which gives us um, a possibility to write down a couple of mathematical relations. So, first of all, sine alpha, sine alpha, the alpha is a part of this big triangle, so please be very careful not to consider alpha, of course it technically is a part of this triangle here, but this triangle is not interesting for us because this is not a right triangle, but alpha is also the, um, one of the angles of this big thing here, and uh, what we can uh, what we can say about uh, sine it's uh, the opposite edge which is here and i need a name for it i will call it h so it's h over hypotenuse c it's a nice thing here to spot we know sine alpha we know c as well it's 20 so we can very easily calculate the hypotenuse from this formula hypotenuse uh, sorry, not hypotenuse, uh, it's h, the height of this triangle. So h is c, c is actually a hypotenuse, c sine alpha. And uh, we can go a, a little bit further and we can use these uh, numerical val values here to find the exact value of uh, h. So h equals c, the hypotenuse, it's 20 times sine alpha, sine alpha is 0 0.6, so we know that h is 12. Let's have a look what the second sine value that we have here can give us, sine beta beta is a part of the smaller triangle here, beta, sine beta is h divided by, wow, this hypotenuse, the hypotenuse of the smaller triangle. It's unnamed yet and of course it's also unknown. Uh, if the bigger hypotenuse was c, let's call this one d. So sine beta is h over d we know sine beta, which is 0 0.8. We know h, uh, which we have just calculated, it's 12. So uh, we apparently have a chance to calculate to find d. d is h over sine beta. So h is 12 over sine beta is 0 0.8. 12 over 0 0.8 is 15. You can be a little bit surprised that uh, we have been looking for values of h and values of uh, and value of uh, of d uh, while we are looking for something completely different. But 
this uh, gave us some very important insights, some very important information about these two triangles, right triangles that we have. So looking at the uh, bigger rectangle, um, triangle, we now know the hypotenuse and we know one of the edges, the opposite edge. We can easily calculate the length of the adjacent edge, so this will be this thing here. Looking at the smaller triangle, we know now the value of D, so that's it, and the value of H, and we can easily find the length of this section here. Knowing the entire base, this and this, we can very easily find X. To do that, to, to do that I, uh, I will need to call this section here Y. Okay, so this is X, this is Y. Together they make X plus Y. Uh, applying a theorem of Pythagoras for the bigger triangle, I can say that one of the edges h square plus second of the edges it's um, in our case it's x plus y so plus x plus y squared equals hypotenuse which is c squared and for the smaller uh, triangle I can also do something like this h squared again one of the edges, plus y squared equals d squared. Now, let's use the numerical values as far as we have them. h is 12, so it's 12 squared plus, we don't know, x plus y squared equals c squared it's uh, 20 20 squared okay going one step further we get 144 plus x plus y squared equals 400 so x plus y squared equals 400 minus 144 it is 256. If we know that, um, we can apply square roots to these values and we will get x plus y equals 16. That's a very crucial information. We are very close now to uh, the final solution. Now let's uh, solve the other equation that we received. h is 12. So 12 squared plus y squared, we still don't know, don't know why, equals d squared, d was also already calculated as 15. So it's 15 squared. 12 squared is 144 plus y squared equals 15 squared, it, it is uh, 225. Therefore, y squared equals 225 minus 144. So y squared equals, uh, equals uh, square root of 81. This is 81. Therefore, y equals 9. Looking back at the at the uh, rectangle, we now know that x plus y, so this uh, base, the base of the bigger triangle is 16, and the base of the smaller triangle is 9. Obviously, the uh, value that we are looking for is 16 minus 9, so x. We can we can actually make it uh, technically mathematically absolutely correct just by uh, writing x equals x plus y minus y, which is obviously true. And this equals x plus y, x plus y is 16, minus y, y is 9. 
therefore the result is 7. The answer is x equals 7. Thank you.